I want this blank space to be a blank slate for me to start a new, fresh at the gate, free from all the hate. I know I've been late. It sickens me to stand amidst a crowd that's scary with these eyes and the minds behind them, perceiving me only as they see, forgetting the fact that we're all beautiful inside, souls caged by these bodies that hold no welcome signs. But Standing here on stage, I feel like I'm at home. It's like I've got the power with the ultimate view from the throne. For right now, I'm king, and I hope I'll be a good one to win not just lands or hearts, but to pour out some wisdom. I know I'm bad at small talk and usually don't know what to say, but hey, hand me a microphone, and I might just tell you what's wrong with the world today. One Life, it's great to be back here. How are you guys doing tonight? All right, all right. It's going to take some warming up. Shout out to One Life. Congratulations on expansion. Big, up, big ups to you guys for keeping this alive. Please give them a big round of applause. And shout out to Jamil for bringing the poetry hood back to one life. High time. <laughs> All right. I haven't really um, memorized this poem. Apologies on that, but let's um, get on with it. So it's called 60 Seconds. Here's what will happen in the next 60 seconds. The Earth will cover a distance of about 1,800 kilometers of its journey around the sun. People will ask Google 2.4 million questions, and the number of heartbeats in this very space will be about 16,225. That's right. I counted. You see, there's this thing I do sometimes where I close my eyes and try to imagine all the possible things happening around the world right now. Like the amount of light switches being flicked on and off, the number of kids crying in the middle of the night, or the countless poor souls stuck in traffic just trying to get home. Perspective. When you feel like the weight of the world has weighed you down like a boxer in a ring in his fifth round, when you're so close to handing in your two-week notice to pull your bets and call it quits, let me remind you that in the next 60 seconds, your blood will travel a distance of around 14 kilometers, your body will create 100 million new cells, and your eyes may blink about 12 times, and that's right, I've made myself conscious about blinking. But the point is, I beg you to stop looking outside and look within. Life may go on, but not without giving you another chance to breathe, to regenerate, to live again. These 60 seconds may be phoenixes that burn to the ground, but these 60 seconds are also phoenixes that will rise again. We will rise again from our ashes. We're all blessed a new minute. It isn't just time to get back up, but run that last mile. Don't hit the snooze button on your dreams. Don't settle, don't settle, don't settle. Affirmation. In the next 60 seconds, 5,500 flights will have taken off to their destination. 250 children will be born, 118 people will die, but I pray that I understand why humans haven't built a time machine yet, so that I could go back in time and hug my 10-year-old self, rewrite the memory that had me on a stage much like this during my very first poetry performance, forgetting my words like it was another alibi to my mom, my voice cracking on my fault lines, my tears a tsunami bigger than my ego, my anxieties have RSVP to the party uninvited, hope has left the building, overthinking on out of pilot, fear takes the steering wheel and I pray that the airbags pop up as my saving grace before I crash land into my sorrows. Don't be mad, don't be mad, don't be mad. Rage. I sometimes think that my guardian angel needs to work on a sense of humor, especially since I've kept my regrets on speed dial. When depression has yet again decided what to wear and despair has already called shotgun, I try to remind myself that in the next 60 seconds, a hummingbird will flap its wings 4,000 times, lightning will strike the earth in 3,000 different locations, and there's someone still out there using Snapchat's dumb new filters. You see, Life still goes on regardless of what failure or absurdity that we may encounter. Maybe we'll all figure it out. Maybe one day we'll beat the cancers in our mind, replace poison with prescription, to stand tall and prepare to face the preamble to our warning signs, to unfriend our doubts and raise the rent and kick our guilt out. We're all a work in progress just waiting to be read. The inked paper may have burnt, but there are still pages waiting to be written. We won't stop writing, we won't stop believing, we won't stop fighting, won't stop won't stop, won't stop, won't stop, hope. In the next 60 seconds, the elevated heartbeats in this room should have raised to about 120 beats per minute. Some of your goosebumps would have turned into extroverts, and Donald Trump will still be the leader of the free world. 
Yikes. They say, in case of an emergency, you need to help yourself with the oxygen mask before helping others and to practice what you pe preach. But if it means helping another soul breathe a little longer than yourself, I would rather die for everything I've dreamed of since I've run out of things to live for. They also say, you need to leave people better than when you found them. And I can't promise you if I've left you any wiser, but I promise you that I won't leave you with silence. <laughs>